Bang! Knees Knives. I'm Jared, my lovely wife Kara joined a carnival, and today we are going to check out one of my nicest knife pouches made by Carhartt. Kara got me this for about 26 bucks. It's got really nice stitching, it's very well made, and we're going to check out everything on the inside of it, plus the pouch itself. Let's get to it. All right, you guys see this here before I unwrap it. You can make it bigger for bigger knives or tighter, you know, so it's more tightly fit. And then you see how the stitching is and how this seam is all the way around, just like, like a, a Carhartt coat. It's very, very durable. Also, I want to say yesterday we, I was on the Knife Junkie podcast and it was a whole lot of fun. There was a lot of people that showed up, a ton of people, including Lavender Pants 86 who you see in the comments all the time of a lot of videos. Really cool guy. He joined us. Um, in the podcast, Mike Emler, Slicey Dicey, a whole bunch of people joined us. It was a really good podcast, so if you want to check that out, Knife Junkie Podcast, I will link it below. Also, the end of this month, Patreon giveaway. Um, yeah, an entire EDC, including this knife, plus a whole bunch of other really cool EDC gear. So yeah, become a Patreon member, monthly giveaways. Let's open this baby up. Now I have a bunch of different pouches, so it's not like this is the only pouch I have full of knives. Let's see how it looks. But you see how the pockets, when it rolls up, it rolls up on top of itself. So everything gets covered up by this as it rolls up, which keeps everything nice and separated. And it holds, um, what is it? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 knives. And then it has also this side pouch over here, which keeps little tools. You can keep your, your bits or anything to work on knives. And I just got some, some of those in there to keep everything nice and dry. But eventually I will put some, uh, some other parts in there. This thing is fairly new. Actually, it's very new. But, you know, I've gotten the chance to use it a little bit and I, you know, I feel like I can uh, talk about it a little bit. But if you look at the stitching here, how well stitched this is. And then also, if you look at some of the stitching in some of the other places, it's triple stitched, which a lot of times you can tell the quality of a material by the stitching and the pattern of stitching and the type of stitching. <clears throat> so double stitched is really, really good, but triple stitched is even better. So this thing has really good stitching. I mean, it's Carhartt and it's the Carhartt material. So you know it's really durable. Even the buckles, the buckles are really durable. The um the the handle right here is stitched on there really well you can just see and you can feel how well stitched that is and just how strong it is so let's check out some of the knives inside of here right um you know this is just kind of random i didn't even set this up for this video or anything so some of these knives you might have seen before and some of them, I don't know, let's check it out. I got a drawer actually right here next to us full of uh, my nicer knives and then other knives sporadically um, in different pouches and stuff like that. But let's check it out. We'll start at number one. Okay, so this is a Boker Zero. This is discontinued. Where are we at? Right here. <laughs> It is discontinued, but this is a really good knife. It's a real, it's a big knife, but it's got a, a nice hollow ground blade. It is um, somewhat of a hard use knife. As you can see, it's got really big thumb studs. They made a titanium version of this for around 80 bucks, 80, 90 bucks. And you can still find these in places. I forget the designer's name. It's like Mazwan. I, I, I don't even want to make it bad. I uh, I probably just sound, made that sound horrible. It's 440C and G10, but just how strong and how well built it is. There, the Boker Zeros are are definitely um, a little bit better. It's uh, almost centered, and I know I can center it up if I uh, actually tried. But um, it's so close to centering, I'm not even worried about it. The action's really good. 
Um, the clip works really well. It's just got a, a spring clip. It's not that deep, but sometimes you want a knife poking out a little bit so you can grab it and yank it out. But yeah, really, really cool knife. And the pouches in here, they're all different sizes. Some fit bigger stuff, some fit thinner stuff. So what's really cool about this is you can fit, say, your, your thin little knives in some of the other pouches. But we'll keep going. Okay. So this is a, um, doggone it. The heck is the Stat Gear Aussies. I'm missing the camera here. This is a Stat Gear Aussies. I like this knife. It is thick behind the edge. It is a bit of a, I'm not going to say a brute, but it's not for fine duty tasks. But, you know, like with any knife that's thick behind the edge you can always lay the edge back so it's not that big of a deal as long as you have a tall grind which this one does have so you have enough room to lay the edge back which is what i did i laid the edge back a little bit and not like crazy but i laid it back a little bit i got a little something on the blade sorry guys but i laid the edge back a little bit which makes this thing cut a lot better this thing does cut really good it's got d2 and it is Macarta. It's it's a little blocky though. That's the one complaint that a lot of people do have. If you hold it just right, like the way I do is I lay my finger across there so it goes like that. And then everything kind of hangs on like that. When you hold it, I don't know if you guys even seen that. But if you hold it a certain way, it doesn't feel bad in the hand. It actually feels kind of good. But then in other grips, it does kind of feel like you're holding a block of wood. It would have been better if they did round off the edges just a little bit. But it's still, uh, I still like this knife a lot. I really do. It's very, very smooth. And it, uh, the McCard is done pretty nicely. And the clip is reversible. And it works really well. I mean, it's kind of an ugly clip, but it does work. All right, next up, everybody knows this knife. This is the Kershaw Knockout. I got a really, really good edge put on this thing. Um, about a 1200 grit edge. You know, mine, I've beat this thing so hard, you know, about I don't know, six months ago, I was talking about how hard I beat on it. And that thing, it didn't even compare to how hard. I'm like trying to, I'm trying to kill this thing and it just won't die. But it is 100% locked up. It's been 100% locked up for like six months. Still no lock rock, still no blade play. This thing has definitely surprised me. The spring still works just as good as when it was brand new. The only thing is it's a little noisy because, uh, that's the spring in there, you know, shaking around. But, yeah, these things are incredibly well-made uh, Kershaws. And they're USA-made, too, and you can get them in M390 or 20CV. Right there, you see, that's the one problem, though, with this clip, is that it can hit the screws right there and not want to tuck all the way up inside there. I am the full length there, so that's about the full length if you have a deep carry clip. Now, if you don't have a deep carry clip, this thing would sit just fine in there, but yeah. All right, let's get to the next one. This is the Real Steel Control, and man, this thing is a tank. It is a brute. I like it, though. It's very, very smooth. The action is fantastic. I love how thick the steel frame lock is. It just... It's definitely a hard use knife and it does it well. It's got this big hardware. It's only got two points right there and right there. And they are big and massive and it feels very strong. I really like it. It's D2, um, G10. It's only G10 on one side, but still very nice. Now, see how this one fits nice and perfect in the pocket because it's not a deep carry. Now, this one right here doesn't sit all the way, but it sits pretty deep, though. I mean, nothing's coming out, and you can see it's uh, catching on. I should put this one in a bigger pocket. That's what's So this is definitely telling me that right now. What was catching was these ridges right here, but this is a thin pocket. If you look right here, see how I said out it has different pocket sizes. So maybe I'll switch this one for this one and this one for this one. Anyways, Buck Marksman. Love this knife. It's a very fidgety knife, especially once you get used to it. 154 cm aluminum handles. It does have the strong locking mechanism. 
great ergos. Everybody always wonders about this right here. How does that feel in your hand? You don't feel it. Now, even if you squeeze it right here, you just don't because it's like it's put in a place that you don't really put your finger. Now, if, even if it had a choil, which it doesn't, it just lays flat against my palm right there. So it's just really not a, uh, a problem at all. I have seen people smooth them out, but they're not smoothing it out for the grip. They're smoothing it out for when you pinch it like this and you release the lock, you know, from gripping it right there. It doesn't bother me. Maybe it bothered them or something, but it doesn't bother me. You know, I, when I first got it, I think it did for like the first uh, few days flipping it, and that was it. And the only reason why it did, I think, at that time was just because I had to get the locking mechanism down pat. We will set this one right here so, or to the side so that I can, I'll flip flop it. Okay, now this one I should have put maybe in a smaller pocket. This is the Civivi, um McKenna, McKenna, very, very cool front flipping knife, super easy to front flip. I and mean, this thing is just fantastic to front flip, so easy. It's um, D2, or wait, is it D2? I think it's D2. I think this is D2. Is this D2 or is this um, 9CR? I think it's D2. Anyways, it uh, has G10, nice deep carry clip. You forget this thing's even in your pocket when you do put it in your pocket crazy slicer it's about ten thousandths behind the edge very very thin blade stock i mean super thin so this thing is like a razor and that's the way i use it i use it like a razor and it works really good now the little hole you cannot use or anything like that it's just too small in there you can't get to it but the front flipping action works really good and civivi definitely killed it with this lock up nice and early just everything about it is super fidgety and just very useful very useful i love this knife what's next kershaw bare knuckle love this knife it's got the um the <laughs> subframe lock it's got the subframe lock deep carry clip 14C28N. I forgot to say that this knife was 14C28N too. Love that steel. Aluminum uh, scales. Love the, the blade shape on this thing. Let's check the edge. The edge is pretty nice. I got a polished edge on there. But yeah, very, very nice. Nice and slicey. Very useful blade shape, you know, like because you can get to the tip really well and use the tip for precision cutting. So you can do slicing. It is nice and thin too. My one complaint about this thing was that they, uh, the hardware just, they red locked their hardware. I think they got a little bit better with some of their newer models, but the when I got this was when it first came out. And it still has nice and early lockup. So this thing has been beat on real hard and it's still holding up very strong. I mean, you would think this thing was, I mean, aside from it being perfectly broken in and it being a lot smoother than when I first got it, um, it like there's no detent lash or anything like that. Like this thing feels brand new, but the hardware was red lock tighted, which I do not like. And that one fits in one of these pockets. Let's slide this over just a little bit. Okay, what else do we got? Okay, we got the Best Tech Paladin. Love this knife. This knife, the Ergos are fantastic. D2 blade. Ooh, that thing's sharp. Um, G10 scales. The clip is not deep carry, which might be nice for a lot of people because, especially with a big knife like this, sometimes you don't want a deep carry clip. You want something to grab onto. You never, you don't have to worry about this thing popping out. Lock bar, super easy to disengage. That's one of my the best features I think about this knife is that they made the lock bar very easy to disengage and not only does it have this jimping there but the jimping is nice on the fingers full liners and set liners and so this is a very strong durable knife and then the ergos the way your hand wraps around it your thumb lands right where the jimping's at very well placed very well done beautiful sharpening choil too great great knife all right, next up is the Real Steel Griffin. Love this knife too. One of my favorite button lock knives. 
It's just super duper smooth, 14C28N, uh, my favorite uh, budget mid-grade steel. I don't know whether to call it budget or mid-grade, because to me it's a mid-grade steel. It's not really a budget steel, but sometimes you can get it for a great budget. And I think these things are like 65 bucks, and what a steel. It's on uh, needle bearings. The Ergo, some people complain that they don't really know how to put their hands on this thing. I don't really have that problem, but I understand what they mean. But the way I see it is, is this is for your middle finger, your knuckle right there. And then you're supposed to hold it just like that. And then if you want to hold it other ways, I mean, you have a hand. So you just however you can get a grip, that's the way you grip it. But I like it. I think it has great Ergos. I think... Um, I think it's just a well-made knife. I really, really like this knife. I think Real still killed it with this knife. They did a very good job. And they also make this in titanium, just so you know, um, for obviously more money. The clip, it looks weird, but it does go with the flow, if you look at it. And it works really good. Aluminum scales, too, I forgot to say. I don't know if I forgot or not. See, this is one of those little pockets right here. Nice skinny little pocket, and we have the Civivi Chronic in there. Cool little knife. Um, the action's fantastic. Easy access to the lock bar. It is a square, so it's not going to be the most ergonomic knife, but for the blade shape it has, for how thin the blade shape is and the type, it's got a clip point blade shape. But for the thickness and how thin it is behind the edge, this thing's a little razor. So I feel like it has the type of ergos that you're supposed to have with a knife like this. You can spin it any which direction to use it, and I think it's uh, well done. Full liners, um, and it's got an inter or external stop pin. So the stop pin uh, is on the blade itself, and it stops on the liners. Nice deep carry clip lanyard hole all the way at the bottom of it this is an old one um mini griptilian in the tanto Kara got me this i love you forever i love you forever too baby and it's got the serrations um she didn't really know how to pick out a knife at the time when she got me this but i don't care i after after getting it i figured out how much i love the mini griptilian it's so fidgety and so useful a great small knife it's like the perfect small knife because i can actually get all four fingers on there it is more of a three finger knife but you can get them on there if you want to you just cover this little notch up right there you know which would normally be the finger guard no i just put my hand right over the top of it and it works really good and this is an american tanto which i love american tantos even more than japanese tantos so very very cool this is the old 154 cm too i wish they uh would have never stopped doing the um the hollow grinds on those okay this is the benchmade 940-1 very very cool knife carbon fiber s90v everybody knows about well most people know about these knives if you don't you should it is a bench made i got a very good edge on this thing oh i originally put a uh a mirror sorry i'm not even in camera i originally put a mirror finish on this edge and i just wasn't happy with it but i love this carbon fiber it's contoured really nicely great action and this was a gift and i can't i oh it's such a badass gift i love this knife very very cool knife these things aren't cheap either so that's a hell of a gift oh spyderco smock um this one's got the deep carry lynch clip i think that one's the lynch it's another button lock a lot like the griffin super smooth i did take out the, the other de the other detent ball and i did it because uh buddy sent his uh smock over in uh micarta and he had his out and my detent ball was still in and i found out how much more smoother it was it didn't change the detent at all like the detent strength on the flipper tab it, or uh, the thumb, you know, flipping it with your finger, finger or uh, using the flipper tab. It didn't change that at all, but it did change the drop. So now when I hit the button, it just drops straight down. Before, I'd have to push the button and give it a little swing. 
So this one is an S30V, just a great blade shape. Spyderco did an amazing job on this hollow grind. Very useful blade shape. The ergos are great. This clip, um, I'm sh I don't know how the other clip would have been, but I don't mind it with this clip. But yeah, um, I, I can tell though that a lot would have been sticking out of your pocket with the other clip. So I'm glad I got this clip with it. But this is how I got it. I did buy it on secondary market. And that's a G10 carbon fiber overlay. So, ooh, the Ganzo FH13. This is a really cool knife. Um, some people say it kind of looks like a steak knife. I just, man, I love how it looks it just looks like a knife to me it's all steel steel frame lock d2 smooth as butter i mean this thing is crazy smooth and the lock bar is so easy to disengage nice deep carry clip they did a great job with this knife it's nice and centered i've used the heck out of it good ergos the jimping's done well and it's only like 30 bucks or something like that i mean it's hard to beat i'll tell you that it's hard to beat for 30 bucks i know cjrb's got some really killer knives for 30 bucks but and this thing slips right in your pocket so nicely here's the big grip my favorite one with the sheep's foot blade i love this blade shape i don't think i need to say too much about this but this is an amazing knife listen to the sound love that sound nice and smacky um i'd like to uh upgrade this thing a little bit but this is the frn scale so you know i don't know but it would be cool to be upgraded. Maybe get some Micarta scales with a deep carry clip. Oh, I'd love to do that. Next up, the Hogue Ritter. I got this on the secondary market. Um, very, very cool. Um, I think I might need to sharpen it again soon. I don't know. It's got a nice edge. It's all right. But this one's got the G10, so it's basically the same thing as the last knife you've seen, just with the G10. I do like the scales better on this, but I like the blade shape more on the other one. So um, I also like this clip better, too. Very, very cool. I like this knife a lot. A lot of channels have been uh, reviewing these lately, so I'm sure you guys know all about it. Ooh, the Sog Terminus. Very, very cool knife. Sog killed it with this with even just all their xr i guess you could say knives so far that i've seen they look really cool i love the action on this thing man i'm just sitting here playing with this knife not even showing you guys very i love the sound of it and i like the resistance you get because what you get is when you use the thumb stud you get resistance because it's trying to push this bar down, the XR lock. Kind of like when you, it's kind of like the same thing you use as the detent for the flipper tab. Well, you feel that when you use the the thumb stud, you got that resistance to right there. Just like when I push it back, see so how watch it'll suck it in. So you feel that resistance, and that's what works as the detent. And I actually like the feeling of it when I slow roll it. it feels really really cool. Got a nice mirror edge on it. Looks really nice. Sog Terminus. This one's in uh, BDZ1N or B, B, CTS BDZ1. Um, this is my, my only time ever dealing with that steel, so I can't talk too much about that steel. I don't even think they're using that steel anymore. What's in this pocket? Last pocket. Oh, the War Wolf. I, sh I think I just showed some of these knives the other day, so. Um, I might have to redo this video with some different knives. Maybe I'll put some different knives in the pouch, but these are all great knives. This is the Best Tech Warwolf D2 G10. Um, great ergos, great blade shape. Your thumb sits right there on that harpoon, and it just feels really, really good, man. I, I love the access to the lock bar, and you know, it just feels very, very well made. Everything about it. And the, the act, action is so nice. Like the, the positioning where your finger hits the flipper tab is pos positioned so nicely 
it's like you can push button it and it's nice and comfortable. You can light switch it and it's nice and comfortable. It just feels very, very nice. And it's a very useful blade shape. Um, some people look at it as kind of a nasty looking blade shape, but, but to me, I mean, it's got everything you really need in a blade shape. I love that. Kind of like a spider coat blade shape without the hole. Very, very similar. And this just is perfect thickness and width right here. It's got nice early lockup. And even though I've used this thing so much and flipped it a ton, the lock bar's still in a very nice place. Right early, right where you want it. Okay, so this pocket over here is the biggest pocket. So maybe I need to flip some stuff around and um, change some stuff. I didn't put this one over here. I don't know. But very, very cool. Let's flip it over really quick and look at the other side. You see it's just nice, nice material. All the, the triple stitching. Very, very well done. I really like this pouch. And I definitely highly recommend it. I do have a few pouches. And yeah, this one's definitely my favorite one so far. I've got some of the Blade HQ ones and then a couple other Amazon ones. And they it just they don't compare, not to this thing. And then see how you got that nice handle right there. It's very, very nice. So um, I do highly recommend picking up some Carhartt tool rollout pouches if uh, you want to store your knives somewhere. All right, guys. Love you guys. Peace.